Hey guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and we're back with The Walking Dead. Now, uh, I know that we haven't had an episode in a while, um, due to Christmas break and everything, but we're back, and we're picking up literally right where we left off. And if you have missed the last episodes, go check out the playlist and watch. So, where we last left off, uh, Clementine was crying because we wasn't sure if we could find our parents or anything. So... <sighs> Clementine? Oh, no. Clementine? Where is she? The radio's gone. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. Oh, God. out here it ain't safe lee where's clementine she's not in her room vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on whose blood is that it's mine oh my god no way no no fucking way there's no time to worry about me clementine's gone there's no chance she just wandered off on her own no no way then who the hell took her i don't know Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of them. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Aww. Bitten or not. I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Gotta find Clem. And we're bitten. Lee's been bitten.
Where the hell are they? Where the hell are they? <coughs> Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Oh my god. No. Wow, 13%. Alright, so apparently that was the end of the last episode, and I apologize. I didn't realize that we were that close to ending the episode, or I would have went ahead and finished it last time. Uh, so, I'm going to cut the credits, and, yeah, so, I'll be back as soon as the credits finish. Bye, guys. I'll be right back. And we are back. And now we are starting right back off with no time left. So, sorry, the credits, you know, it, it was just like a millisecond for you all, but the credits took a little bit. So now we're Previously here. on The Walking Dead. Here we go. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Baby, you gotta see this. Here, Clem. Want some uh, batteries? But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah. This is all Why? Recapping it. Clementine? Back. Clementine! Oh. No. Oh. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Clementine. Holy. This is where we left off. <sighs> so now it's time to find Clem. Oh. We gotta find Clem. Ah. Uh. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? 
Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. You better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot, and it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay, for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. Oh crap. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. This is Cut what it I heard. Seriously. Yeah. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. 
I'll go as fast as I can. Oh, I can't watch. Oh. Fast would be good. Look, you can. Ah! Ah! Try to stay still. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! I know. You've been out a while, man. It's so bad. But maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Keep going. Leave a get the far. You okay down there? Remember, quiet. It's no big deal. Another arm would just get in the way. Jesus Christ, Lee. Okay, come on. Calm down. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. Still. Lee's right, and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. Good. I... Uh... I don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. I know we can't afford dead weight, so... 
Don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Right. Now, let's get our bearings. Hospital must have run out of doctors. It's an extension ladder. All right. It's a piece of paper report. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh, yeah. That could help. With the Bell Tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that Bell Tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. Hmm. So maybe, maybe we could grab that ladder? Let's go grab this ladder. Because... <laughs> Whoa! You need some help with that? I got it. Damn it! Oh, shit! The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? <laughs> My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. <laughs> that thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. Yep. Uh, keep that shit to yourself next time. Bullshit. Ah! Shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! Way. Tons of them! Jesus! 
Now get back here! Um... How do you suggest I do that? I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! You got this! You got this, motherfucker! I did it. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. That was too close to call. Holy... What the fuck? Come on! Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem! They're gone! Holy shit, they're gone! Relax. Hey guys? No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking what? way! The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks, and then stab us right in the back! They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever, and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us, and Clementine behind. They fucked us! I mean, they did do that. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, your cell. Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are gonna have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Lee's right, Krista. We've been so goddamn scared of strangers for so long, but at one point, we gotta take our chances, right? This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! Oh, crap. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omi. What is it? 
front doors! Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Come on, knife, 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 knife! Knife! Yes! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. Or maybe not. Shit! Get upstairs! Go! better everyone okay and i think that's where we're going to leave off so remember guys be good stay safe but always have fun and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>